Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at another really really good trading method for you on FIFA 17. Now it is on the web app because I don't have uh, the early access uh, for the game but this is what you're going to have to put in. So you go to the quality, put that as gold, then you want to go to defenders and then you want to go down and search for the Premier League, uh, obviously the English Premier League. Um, <clears throat> and then in the buy now section you want to type 550 coins uh, buy now and search and then all you need to do is keep going up trying to find players and uh, trying to get them on their buy now as you can see they expire really quickly um, and there's certain players I'm going to be telling you not to get and, and then there's a majority of them you should get now there's a Uruguayan centre back for Watford I can't remember his name I wouldn't get him Angel Rangel also isn't a very good one, uh, and neither is uh, Joel Ward really, but apart from them, Britos, that's what he's called for Watford, but apart from that you can just try and get uh, anyone you want guys, and uh, as you can see it's just me trying to get some in the background, and we will show you later on in the video some of the ones I did pick up, and uh, why it's such a good method, so as you can see I go to get Arba lower there, uh, to be fair, I don't know why I want to get him because he's not a very good one either. But apart from them four players, get every single one you can, guys, because uh, every little matters. And uh, you can get, even if it, you're only making like 300 coins, uh, that's still very, very good. Uh, so as you can see, I missed out Britos there because I didn't want to uh, get him because I wouldn't have made that much money on him. So you can just keep going. You find the cheapest buy now with the player and then just keep going up and down. Um, that's what she said. Uh, just keep going up and down in the prices to try and get them. Uh, obviously, if, like the higher, better the club, the more likely they're going to go for more. And obviously, like look at pace and stuff as well. Uh, but um, we go for Clavin and uh, Rangel there, but we can't get them. So you have to be really quick. But after a while, you will see. Uh, you, they do expire quickly, but you will get used to uh, getting them, and you will be get a lot better uh, actually sniping the players. So. In a minute, uh, you can see we go for Keane here, and we actually do manage to pick him up for 550 coins. So we're going to send him to the transfer list, and now we're just going to have a look at some of the other players that we did manage to pick up. So uh, if we look here, we actually do manage to get a Van der Horn there for uh, 400 coins, which is very, very good. Uh, and um, then we just keep going and trying to get this Nordvite, uh, who we don't actually manage to pick up. Then after we get Van der Horn, uh, we actually keep going back and forth again, and uh, we do actually manage to get ourselves a Thiago Ayori for Liverpool uh, for 600 coins. There, the other one could have been 600 as well, actually, not 400. But uh, that's a very, very good one as well, because obviously he plays for Liverpool, who are quite a high-rated uh, club in the game. And then uh, we try and get Cal not on there, and that doesn't work. Um, then we tried to get Espinola or whatever he's called. Uh, and we actually failed to get him as well. But as you can see, we got Ragnar Klavan there as well. Uh, also for 600 coins, uh, which is also a good deal. And then uh, we have one more player in this first section uh, of the first half, kind of, of the video that we did manage to pick up. Uh, and that is going to be, you'll see in a few seconds now, who it is that we do manage to pick up. But uh, it's quite easy to get them, guys. It's easy, but it's hard. And uh, they are the four players we got. So what we're going to do now is we're going to check the cheapest buy nows and uh, see how much money we can make on them. But uh, as I said guys, it's easy and it's hard. It's easy because these players pop up all the time, like every single like second or every few seconds there's a new one on the market. So that's why they're easy to get, but they're also quite hard to get because they, uh, they do expire very, very quickly. So you have to be very, very quick to make sure you can get them. And as you can see, we're going all the way up to a K here. And uh, Clavin's cheapest by now is 1,000 coins, and then there's one for 1,100 as well. So we're going to list ours uh, for, I think, 950, uh, or maybe even 1,000 as well. So we list ours for 1,000, and you're thinking, no one is going to want to buy Clavin for 1,000 coins. Well, that's why you're wrong, uh, because they, they actually do, uh, and this method will work in the first few weeks of FIFA when it comes out on console as well. Now we're moving on to Keen uh, from Clavin. Check out his buy now. As you can see, there's none for 700, no for 750. Uh, look at 800, there's none for that either. And we just keep going up. And as you can see, guys, we're already making a lot of coins on these players. We did pick them up. So uh, even if you pick up like five, as you can see in the top right, I did. Uh, I probably had about 5,000 coins when I started this. 
and if you spend like all them 5,000 coins on players, say if you're getting, you could probably get about 10 players for that, maybe about 8, and then if you're making about 300 to 400 coins on each, then that's 2.4k uh, to 3.2k profit on each one, which is fantastic, and then uh, they do sell very, very quickly as well, which you will see, so you can pretty much constantly keep doing it, you can be buying some uh, and then sniping them, then lifting them up and then they'll sell instantly, so you basically never run out of your coins. As you see, we lift our Thiago uh, Elori up for 900 coins there. And then we finally just have uh, Van der Horn to lift up, who we actually picked up for 650 there, or 450. I'm sorry, I can't really read it very well. I've got quite a small screen that I am uh, voicing over here. And uh, all the like numbers are just jumbling into one. But uh, I think it could be 650 that we picked him up for. And as you can see, that wasn't the best of deals, but uh, we're still making 100 coins on him. So if you want to avoid him, he's also one that you probably shouldn't pick up. But as you can see from the other ones, Clavin we picked up for around 600. We can sell him on for a K. So that's 400 coins profit. And uh, also with Keen, we picked him up for like 500 and sell him on for 900. And as you can see, guys, they all have sold uh, very, very quickly. It took about a minute for them to sell. So uh, that is very, very good indeed. And as you can see... Um, I'm just going through these now, and uh, you can see that they've expired. So we're just going to try and pick up a few more, just for the video's sake. So I don't think me showing you four non-rare players selling is really enough. So I'm just going to try and pick up a couple more here. Uh, just to see, just to prove to you guys that it does work. And as you can see, straight away, we picked up that Espinona, um from Middlesbrough there. He's a very, very good card. And then straight away, we refreshed the page and got a Glenn Johnson, which was very, very good as well. Couldn't quite get the Kone there, but uh, we did move on and uh, try and get a few players as well. We actually did get a Dawson and a Trippier, uh, but no, actually, the, you, you can see the Trippier, but we did get a Dawson on that first bit when we had Clavin and stuff, but uh, the gl game glitched out a bit and we didn't actually manage to... Uh, I couldn't find him in my transfer list, so I couldn't lift him. So I'm guessing when I get the actual game, he's just going to pop up in my club, so I haven't lost uh, my players that I've bought, but... Uh, if we go on now and see uh, that we're just trying to pick up a few players more here and look at their prices so we can actually list them. Uh, you saw the players that we picked up, guys, and uh, as you can see, Espinona, uh doesn't actually... He got one for 950 and then uh, a few for a K as well. So even though he's a Middlesbrough Colombian player that you just wouldn't expect to go for much that we bought for... Uh, 650 coins we can still s sell them on for uh, like 950 which is another 300 coins profit and as you can see we did pick up the Trippier there as well and uh, just as we were going to list up Trippier here you can see that the Glenn Johnson and the uh, uh, other player had sold which means we couldn't even list all our players up it was that quick Trippier I'm not actually going to show you him selling because he did take five minutes to sell uh, but he did still sell it, that's still pretty quick, so that's it guys, uh, that's easy, drop a like down below, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.